um, I'd like to introduce the lovely Angie today, who's um, joining us to talk about her time with Jets and um, moving into self-employment and just to give us a, a little bit of a story about her journey, where she is now. Um, and we're here because it's International Women's Day and we're talking about breaking the bias, which is the theme. So, um, hi Angie, how are you today? Today. Hi Gina. Breaking the bias, which is the theme. So, um, thank hi, you so Angie, much for you? joining me. Um, I thought we'd just start by, um, yeah, if you could just tell me a little bit about um, where you've been and what led, what's led you to where you are now and just share your story with us. That would be wonderful. That would be wonderful. Yeah, sure. Okay, so um, let me see, where shall I start? Well, I, I've been in care work um, for a number of years, 30, to, 30 or more to say the least, and um, it's been an enjoyable um, 30 years, I must say. I've been in various different roles in care work with um, working with the elderly to working with, um, with people with um, Alzheimer's, dementia, and then progressed on to working with people with learning difficulties and autism, which I thoroughly enjoyed. My last job was for 15 years and uh, my role was a team leader, but we were also on the shop floor as well, working with the individuals. And as the years were going on, I was finding it um, a lot more challenging, um, to say the least. Long hours, um, tr double, triple shifts, um, lot of injuries from work because um, the clients could be very challenging and so I think it was just one day I said I think a change is due and I really didn't know what to do and I did think about going into a different field of care work again and I thought no actually I need a change. I really felt I need a change. Felt I needed a change. So I undenied what I was going to do for a little while, and then some some members of the family said, "Well, why don't you why don't you go self employed?" I said, "Oh God, self employed. What would I do?" And they go, "Well, your plants, of course, <laughs> because um, I'm very much into." Um, succulent plants which are quite different from normal plants and I thought about it because it's a huge hobby of mine and I had quite a bit of stock already and so I thought I'm actually I'm going to give it a go and then it was my daughter-in-law that introduced me to Outset Cornwall um, that would send me on a um, it was done through Zoom, a um, business course, a really, <laughs> I was kind of chucked right in the deep end because it was very intense over a short period of time, like six months. So I learned quite a lot quite quickly. And at the end of it, I thought, yeah, I feel ready that I can do this. So alongside me after I well as I'd finished with um outset Cornwall halfway through the middle I'd come again I'd always have also been introduced to the Jets program and they have been quite invaluable to me really they've helped me so much through with um stock for my business um with the likes of pots and compost and arts and crafts because I was going into the wedding, um, doing wedding bouquets and uh, little wedding favours. So they've helped me out tremendously. I had the most amazing coach, work coach called Toby. Um, he was brilliant. Um, there were days when I might have been like, oh, can I really do this? 
Am I going to be good enough to do this? Have I got the drive to keep going? And he was a huge help, huge big support, giving me ideas and just keeping me up uplifted when we had our phone calls. Um, he also get me, got me on to Google with my business, which I was um, really pleased about because I'm not very techy. So that was um, a big, huge help. So where I am now, um, I have a little shop that I've got up and running in my um, back garden. It's a cabin that's been converted into a little shop. I have all my stock out there um, and I would just really, you know, if somebody said to me five years ago, you're going to have a business, your own business one day, I would do it now. That would never happen. I just, I just thought, no, it just, it, fe it felt too much out of reach, but I feel that if you really want something in life, you can get it. You just have to put the work into it. And I've kind of, as the months have been going on, um, I have become quite confident and empowered by what I have done. Even though there are days, like I say, it's a roller coaster of emotions going, oh, this has happened, that's put me right back. Oh, I don't know if I can be bothered anymore. But you kind of get up the next day and, and you surge forward again. So I feel <laughs> if I can do it, anybody out there can do it. Oh, I think that's a really brilliant message, Angie, and um, really empowering. And it's it can't be easy to be self-employed but like you say you know you just take it each day as it comes and um you've had some good support to help you um but it sounds yeah really inspiring that you've made that leap um i just wondered what you feel break the bias which is the message of international women's day means to you yeah when i first heard that um phrase i it kind of conjured up for me of about women being empowered and breaking the norm and actually you can get out there and do it and and the help is there to do it as well and i think once you've made that first step of that journey you more things come in sometimes it's too far ahead to look into the future what could be but what I've learned is that you can, it's like taking baby steps. And each time you're moving forward, you're learning something else. And so it can be done. And because I think women's roles, you know, are, well, they're difficult enough, you know, at the best of times with trying to, bring up a family as well and I just think there's huge opportunities um, for women going self-employed and having the freedom to to be able to be their own boss make their own decisions and with that become lots more confidence within oneself Definitely. Yeah, I think it can often be, um, well, we, we are, as women, we can often be the caregivers and, um, you know, sometimes we need to take a step back and think about our own well-being and, and, and the things we want to achieve as individuals as well. So, um, yeah, I think your story shows that really and just the empowerment that self-employment can bring. Yeah, so and it can be... That's okay. I was going to say it can be quite lonely at times as well. Um, mm. But I think that you, you'll you get past that when you start reaping your rewards from it. 
mm. you'll start to realize actually when well when i look back now i think oh gosh if only i knew back then what i know now but even what i've learned the this past year with um, becoming self-employed i just think it might help surge women on a little bit more and the freedom that they can get and there's also the chance of earning potentially more than they would with an employer which is most important yeah definitely um financial freedom is is a good one isn't it and maybe um the more as we progress um and the more women choose self-employment maybe those communities will build a little bit and there'll be more of a, a sharing people kind of sharing you know good practice and what works for them and, um it's just good to know that it's an option and that it's something that people can look into yeah definitely i would i would suggest that um people go for it i don't think they'd look back <laughs> well you certainly won't be looking back and i'm sure you're um business will be a huge success. Did you want to give us the name, Angie, and a little bit about how people can get in touch? So the name of my um, new business is Pure Love Succulents. Um, and I can be found on Google. Um, I am attempting to make up my own website. Like I said, I'm not very techy, but I'm really challenging myself and I'm halfway through um, finishing my website and I can hold my hand up and say I've done it all myself. And I think with just time and effort, anything can be done. So here's to the future really. Um, and as soon as I get my website up and running, I'll be hopefully expanding a little bit more than I am now. I love that. And it's never too late to learn new things. We're all learning, aren't we? So, yeah, best of luck with that, Angie. Luck with that, Angie. Thank you, And Gina. thank you so much thank for you. your time thank today. You so for your time thank you. Today. Good You're to welcome. Speak with you. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.